BP has begun its latest attempt to plug the oil leak at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. Now we wait. The company says the so-called top kill could show signs of success in a day. Bloomberg's Lizzie O'Leary is down in the Gulf following all the action. Lizzie. Yeah, and this is seriously waiting with bated breath, Eric. At this point, Tony Hayward saying in an emailed statement that things are going according to plan, but according to plan means a lot of things, and mostly it means time. They're trying to monitor pressure sensors at the well to see if the top kill is effective. It could take quite a bit of time. They're all focused on that right now. We had uh, a briefing from Doug Suttles at BP. Listen to what he said to the press. All right, we don't have that for you right now, but what he is essentially saying is there's going to be a fair amount of time here because it could be a day, it could be as much as a couple of days, and the idea, of course, is that that 50,000 pounds of thick mud could actually push some pressure down toward the blowout preventer. Now listen to Doug Suttles. The job has been proceeding according to plan. We started pumping operations at 1 o'clock this afternoon. We've pumped over 7,000 barrels of drilling mud so far at varying rates, but up to 65 barrels per minute. So this is basically what we're all focused on here on the Gulf. At the same time, people are working very hard on the cleanup effort. We got a chance to look at some of the coastline. About 100 miles of Louisiana coast have been affected. There are about 29,000 uh, square miles that have been affected, according to the folks at SkyTooth who are looking at this from satellites. When you see these beaches, though, lots of collection of oil all over them at this point, Deirdre.